Tanya Izov. It's a follow up now to our report about the rise in homelessness, not only within students at Cincinnati Public Schools, but in the entire tri state. We're talking about 4,300 students in the region right now, nearly 2,900 of those within CPS. While school districts and nonprofits are trying to come to terms with the reality of this alarming trend, WCPO 9 News anchor Brent Bugansky shows us why one county commissioner wants more follow up on how tax dollars are actually spent to combat homelessness. I'm a little tired of press conferences. Hamilton County Commissioner Stephanie Dumas responded to the state of homelessness in Hamilton County. I'm deeply concerned about it. Project Connect's new report states there are thousands of kids in our region who are homeless, a 24% rise from last year. But Dumas also seemed to criticize some organizations that receive county tax dollars to house needy families. We've given millions, and it's not just housing, but I just think that... Um, we need to, we put our money where our mouth is. WCPO 9 News found out in the last year, Hamilton County awarded nearly $40 million to two organizations, $34.5 million to Cincinnati Development Fund and $5 million to Strategies to End Homelessness. That money went to help families get affordable housing and avoid going to a homeless shelter. Then once we give these entities the money to do certain things, I don't, we, there needs to be a better follow up. And speaking of the follow up, community activists like Iris Rowley have been meeting with some CPS students here at Government Square. She says many of them do want help, but it's up to us to change our approach about how we go about trying to help some of these students. They wanted to be respected from the moment you lay eyes on them. If you respected them, then they could possibly open up and see you first. Then secondly, what that did for you was gave you an opportunity to see them. They're not telling their teacher, hey, I slept in a car last night or we're in between places or we're at a hotel. But help is still there from places like Upspring in Cincinnati. The nonprofit, which runs on private donations, has backpacks, hygiene kits, shoes and winter coats ready for families who need them. It can be really debilitating for kids uh, to experience homelessness. That kind of instability and insecurity that they have, uh, they, you know, they feel like they don't belong anywhere. They feel like there's no point in trying in school. In Queensgate, Brett Pagansky, WCPO 9 News.